Hello, uh, welcome back to another uh, lecture for uh, Civil 3D CAD. In our last uh, example, we created a um, alignment and we created a profile, we created a corridor, and then we had an assembly. And uh, let me go over this assembly, we created it. This is basically a cross sectional view, a uh, typical section where we created it. What it tells us, if we look at this section view right here, we have a, a roadway, and a two-way roadway. Right here we have a 12 foot lane on the right side, and we have a 8 foot shoulder, and then daylights out to your slopes, depending on your existing ground. And then on the left side, we have another 12 foot lane, and then we have a 6 foot shoulder, and we have a, a, a curb and gutter, for drainage system and we have a sidewalk and then we have a one foot grass panel then daylights out so when we look at the uh, our profile view we have a profile right here we have uh, existing ground right there and that's our existing ground and then we have also a proposed uh, grade right there and down here you see those two elevations should be shown but here is not clearly marked it's kind of confusing. We have both elevation and which one is the proposed and which one is the existing. Let's clean this up. That's what we're going to do right now. Uh, <clears throat> one thing we're going to do is uh, when you are in a, I just gave a couple of times, when you're in this mode, you want to select these profiles. So see how if I move my mouse over, it kind of lights up. All right, when I get there right here, click on it. And once you do that, you can see uh, right here a new ribbon opens up. Uh, uh, in a profile view. Let me make this a little bit larger so I can see uh, the grade. Let's stay with station 20, my favorite number. Okay, right here we're going to go in and click in uh, uh, profile uh, view property and click again right there. A new window opens up. And here, make sure on this tab on top right here, you are on a uh, uh, bands select the tab called bands right there and once you have done that you see down here you have your band and click on that highlight it and now you can see it if we go further down and click this right here go to the right a little bit and we see profile one and profile two let's see what's on profile one profile one says okay ex existing surface okay right there that's fine and profile two is the uh, new ground, finished ground, so click that. And when you hit uh, apply, and you see right here, our number changed. This will become the existing, this will become the proposed. But let's, let, this is still not good enough. Let's just stay with that. And now when we're here, let's uh, highlight the uh, your band again, right? You see it right here? And, uh, in the style section right there, click the style section, that button right there. And you see a new window open up. Pick band style. And you can edit the style by clicking this blue button right here. And then when you come to this window, make sure you are in a band detail. It could be display, it could be summary, it could be information. But you want to be in a band detail tab. Click that. When you click that, you see this other window here says major station, minor station. Let's stick, uh, stay on major station and hit compose. <clears throat> and you see this new window opens up. Let's uh, zoom into this a little bit. I want to see the stationing right there. Okay, there's our stationing. And uh, going to the left, we can see the uh, component name. It says station value. Click on that drop bar. You see one for existing elevation and one for proposed elevation. So let's stay with the existing uh, pro existing uh, elevation. And then down here, you see it says existing elevation. Down underneath it says true. Let's make that true for now to a false. All right. And you see this disappear right here. But that means right this one on this side and the left side or on the top, whatever way you want to look at it. This is where the existing elevation is. So go back in here, put that back in true, click through again, and there it is. So now we know this is our existing ground. And you come down to the second line right here, says text. 
and here it says profile you see three dots right there click on those three dots you have this new window opens up it's kind of hard to see but right here it's highlighted we want to go ahead and put a prefix right here just before that I'm going to click my mouse right there and I'm going to type in XCL for existing center line there is a symbol for center line you can find it but go ahead and good luck to you and how you do that you basically come back right here click format and then click symbol and click other and you see this right here among all this top stuff there is some there's a symbol for center line all right or you could use that too so now we did that let's click ok get out of here and come back and what you see right there it says x center line existing center line so now let's do the uh, bottom part for proposed center line and we go back up here at component name make sure we on finish grade so click this drop down menu and go on finish grade elevation all right and now you have that we know this is the one right here and come back to the text under the text right there where it says elevation profile elevation click those three dot right there there's a three dot right there click that three dot and again we we'll come back to this window we go back up here again just for before all the wording type in uh proposed center line pcl and click OK, and there it is right there. Okay, so now hit apply and OK. Nothing happened yet here, and click apply. OK, and click OK, and once again click apply. Don't close out this window. You can keep it open, or you can go back to it later. And there it is. But it's and and kind of messy right there on top of each other. You can't see anything. So while you're here. Click on your band right there so you know where you are. See this list is zero? Play with that. Put different number there. See what you're going to have. I'm going to put half inch. I'm going to tap in 0 0.5 and click enter and click apply. And there it is. They clean it up. Or you can change that number so it'll be closer or uh, further away. So this is uh, how we clean this up a little bit. And let's proceed. What if we're going to, let me get out of here. I like to. Uh, Right now, we only have uh, two uh, profile here. One, the existing ground, and one, the proposed center line. Okay, both center line. Existing center line of the existing ground and proposed center line. What if, what if, go back to my assembly, my section view here. What if I said, you know what? I like to have the profile of uh, top of the curve right there, and maybe the profile of this point. Let's go ahead and add these two profiles, one right there and one right here to our profile view. So how we do that, let's go back into our corridor and we take a look at our line right here. This is our center line and that's our 12 foot uh, lane. I think this is the, uh, let me see, that's the left side. So that'd be the left side if you station going which way, 24, 23. So that be uh, coming this way. This will be our uh, left side. This is right side. That be the left side. Okay, so you gotta go based on the station. And this is where the uh, the curb line is right there, the gutter, and the edge of the pavement on the other side be right there. Okay. So now in this view, go ahead and go back to the home tab. From a home tab, click profile. From profile, go all the way down, says create profile from corridor. Click on that. And kind of zoom in. We were thinking about this right here, the curb gutter right here. No, it's right there, I think. Click on that. And uh, back curb following gutter. Okay, yeah, that's the one. And then we're going to get, if you don't get that window, if you come to this window, that's fine too. And the name of the, uh, um, We can name it, uh, let's say, uh, curb. And I think that was on the left side. Okay, just call it curb left side for now. 
and uh, design fine uh, no label let's click ok all right let's see what we did here let's go back to our profile we'll see if you got it there it is right there okay well we got it let's go add the uh, uh the other side we you can see we're still in a command mode you see the square inside my blue circle let me in command circle so we selected this let's go select this line right here click that okay the hinge that's fine what do you mean by hinge right here what do you mean by the hinge when we talked about this in class and this is from a geometric highway design when once you have your uh, uh where your shoulder breaks up you get daylight we call this uh, this is the hinge point and that's what it's referring to so now we're going to go ahead and click ok and then we're going to go ahead and call that let's call it an ep right where is the pavement is right section and uh fine 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 no label click ok and we're going to come back and see what we have here if we got the other line in there it must be on top of the other one i can't see it it's right there yeah the grades are very similar okay now okay so now we have created two additional um uh profile in this view there's one right there and the other one is right there but there's both of them and what we're going to do go ahead and um while we're here we can go ahead and hover over this again click it so our ribbon will changes and once our ribbon changes we can go back to profile view before i do that i want to get the station opened up over here so hit profile view create profile view and from this window when it opens up uh, make sure you again you're on a band and uh, when you see the cut data right here click on a drop down menu and click elevation and station and hit add then you get all this let's accept all the default click ok and now we have this second band here created let's go to the edit section edit and click edit and in here in, instead of adding just click uh, copy current selection and then this brings us to this window make sure again you are on a band detail so you can see major station and compose label click that and you come up to this window i want to make this a little bigger so i can see what i'm doing see this this is going to be redundant once we put the second one there so let's get rid of this station in by clicking the x bar right here and that goes away and let's change the name uh, existing elevation and in here let's make that to a curb we had the curb on the right side that's what we selected and then let's go over here change the name and once you open up this window make sure you see where the prefix is right there take the other one out and type in whatever you want for now curb left and hit ok see if it worked yeah we can see down here that's good so let's go ahead and uh, do work on uh, the right side and the right side what we're going to make sure you come back in a component name click the other one which is a fg elevation and change the name to um, we said ep right edge of the pavement on the right side <coughs> excuse me and come back here in a text do the same thing <coughs> change the prefix right here and once that's done <coughs> hit ok and i will see uh it's right there that's good and apply ok and let's apply ok and ok apply don't hit ok yet apply and see what we have down here oops don't let me um we we'll always come back to it let's say uh, okay, apply and okay for now um and there we are we have the uh curb left ep right and notice something right here they both have the same elevation okay let's go back and fix this see what happened that's why i want i didn't want to hit okay but i didn't see this so i'm going to go back here to click profile view again and we click the second band right there 
I'm glad that happened. It will give us just more example. So now we come in here, you have profile one, profile two. Click under profile one. No, nope. this one under the second band. Click under profile one. And you see the uh, existing surface now. It was corridor uh, follow the gutter, right there where we had the curb gutter. Click that one. And in the profile two, on the second band, which is the new band, click those three stars. And then it should be it's your payment, right? Okay. Now hit apply. And you see our elevation has changed. It's not the same. And click OK. All right, that's how we do it. Practice and um, stay fit and uh, be well. Take care.